Hi everyone, I thought I'd make this video today comparing coloured pencils and pastel pencils because I get quite a lot of messages on my Instagram of people that don't know the difference between the two so I just thought I'd explain to you in this video the differences because they are both very different mediums. So for coloured pencils I use the brands Faber-Castell um, and Caran d'Ache mostly. Um, I don't really use coloured pencils anymore in my artwork very often, every now and again I do but Otherwise I go to use pastel pencils. So for pastel pencils, I use the brands Faber-Castell, um, the Pip Pastels, the Stabilo Carbothellos and the Caran d'Ache ones. And I also sometimes use some of the Derwent ones, which I only have a few of, but yeah, I use the browns in that, that um, range as well. Um, so coloured pencils, they're mostly pigment which is held together using either a wax or an oil binder so the polychromos for example the faber castell polychromos they're oil based and pastel pencils are just pure pigment combined with a very small amount of binder which is why pastel pencils are more crumbly and fragile compared to colored pencils because they don't have as much binder in them and also pastel pencils are a lot more vibrant because they have more pigment um, compared to binder ratio if that makes sense so they tend to be more vibrant than coloured pencils um, because pastels are much more crumbly they are more fragile and they sharpen very differently to coloured pencils so coloured pencils sharpen really easily you can get a really really fine point with them so they're really good for detailed work um, whereas pastel pencils they they're quite crumbly well, they can be. They're a lot harder to sharpen, so I usually use this swordfish icon sharpener for the pit pastels, or I use a craft knife to sharpen away the wood to get as much of a point as I can. But with pastel pencils, it's a lot more harder to get fine details because of the fact you can't sharpen them. So yeah, coloured pencils are definitely a lot better for fine details, whereas pastel pencils you can struggle with. Um, I have uploaded a sharpening video showing how I sharpen my pastel pencils so if you are interested in that I'll leave the link in the description below for you. Both pastel pencils and coloured pencils they both work best on different surfaces so for example the coloured pencils they work better on more of a smooth surface need a little bit of tooth so that the colour can grip onto the paper but more of a smooth kind of paper so for example I used the Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolour paper for this this is the colour that and um, the colour this is the paper that I use the most for these pencils and it works really well if you use the pastel pencils on this type of paper it doesn't really grip properly um, yeah just doesn't really work too well to be honest so for the pastel pencils I use pastel matte paper which is more of like I don't know it's kind of like a velvety texture it's um it's not like sandpaper but it's got more of a texture I mean it's hard to describe unless you actually feel it to be honest because it's quite a strange texture but that works really well with the pastel pencils quite a lot of people do use colored pencils on this paper but um I don't really get on with it too well so I use it for my pastel pencils all my pastel pieces that's the paper that I use because it grips really well to it and it comes in lots of different colours as well, which is a bonus, so I can work on loads of different coloured papers, which is cool. Um, they also blend very differently as well, so coloured pencils um, are harder to blend together. You have to layer them more, put m much more layers on top of each other to create a blended look, or you can use a solvent, so I use this Sestip blend solvent stuff, which can blend the coloured pencils together. Um, whereas pastel pencils they blend really easily you can blend them with your finger which I probably wouldn't recommend because the oils on your finger will go onto the paper and not great but I use blending stump which is just like a paper stump to blend the pastels together and it works really really well and they just blend so easily which is one thing that I love about them it's just their blendability and it makes them really quick to work with with pastel pencils, you can layer light colours on top of dark colours, whereas with coloured pencils, this is a lot more difficult. 
So I'll just show you here. This is what happens when I use a pastel, um, a white pastel on top of some dark pastel. It shows up quite well, which is one thing that I absolutely love about pastels is the fact that you can do this. It just works so much more better for me because I find it really hard to use coloured pencils because of this reason, to be honest. Um, yeah, and then coloured pencils, if you use a dark base or a colour and then you try and put white over the top, you'll see here that it just doesn't doesn't work very well. So quite a lot of people use a craft knife or something to scrape away some of the coloured pencil to create the effect of light on top of dark, but yeah, I just don't find it very easy. So pastels are really good for layering lights over darks. Pastel pencils, they create some dust when you use them, so they're a bit more messy to use than coloured pencils. So coloured pencils, I suppose, are more portable because of that reason. They don't create as much mess, whereas pastel pencils can create some dust. Um, I don't really find that the Faber-Castell Pit Pastels leave any dust, really, a tiny bit, but mostly softer ones like the Caran d'Ache Pastel Pencils, they leave quite a lot of dust, and you can end up with pastel down the side of your hand and stuff like that so they are a bit more messy um, and as I said pastel pencils can be more vibrant looking due to the higher pigment content so uh, that's one thing I, I love about them again is just how vibrant they are whereas with coloured pencils you have to really layer and layer and layer to get vibrant look so they just I find coloured pencils take so much longer to create a drawing with compared to pastel pencils and I'm not a very patient person at all so I prefer using a medium that doesn't take me quite as long so if a drawing takes me too long I get bored with it so that's another reason why I really like pastel pencils because they're a lot quicker to work with. That's the main differences between the two. Um, so just to recap, I'm going to show you the pros and cons for both and then you can maybe figure out what you think you would prefer because it, is, it does come down to personal preference. So for coloured pencils, the pros are that they are easy to sharpen, they can get very fine details with them, which is great, um, and no mess. And so obviously they're probably more portable. And then the cons are cannot layer lights over the top of darks. Um, they're more time consuming to layer and blend and also they don't blend too easily. So there are pros and against for both. And then for pastel pencils, the pros are that they are very vibrant, they're easy to layer lights over the top of darks and they can be quick to work with as well. And you can also mix them with other types of pastels, so pan pastels, you could use them as a base, which would also speed up the process even further. And then the cons is that they can be messy, they're, it's harder to create fine details with them, and also they're hard to sharpen. I mean, overall, I prefer pastels just because they're quicker to work with and they're more vibrant, and I just find them a lot more easier to use. But there are a lot of pros to coloured pencils as well, and a lot of people do prefer coloured pencils, so it just comes down to what you prefer. So yeah, that's just the differences between the two. I thought I'd just make a video explaining the differences, and I hope this um, was useful to you and that you understand a bit better now. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!